Desert Boy here. I just wanted to uh, take a moment to talk about holsters again. And in this case, we're looking at a holster for the Ruger LCR, which in this case we can see is, is unloaded. There's no rounds in it. And what we'll be looking at is previously I talked about outside the waistband holster, like this Galco here, which works very well the Ruger LCR fits it very nicely. We're going to look at something today. I'm going to get it out of there. Nice retention there. Um, known as an inside the waistband holster from a company known as Remora. And this particular one is a no clip inside the waistband holster. It's a concealment holster, low profile. And it looks like this. And we'll look at it a little closer up. Uh, made out of this material here. So let's take a look. So Reed Desert Boy here still. Uh, as you know, and here you go, this is what the Remora packaging looks like. The holster comes inside of here. Concealment holster, low profile, no clip inside the waistband holster. Uh, this is made, it says pocket or waistband. Thing is, there's no clip on here. If you look here, at this particular holster, there's no clip on the either one. Uh, this particular one, it was is for uh, with concealed hammer uh, up to two and a half, in, two and an eighth inch barrel. Uh, and you see the model number there. Um, and I was looking for it, of course, for a Ruger LCR. Just happened I was uh, traveling, you know, and was in Central Arizona and. Uh, I had already been looking for an inside the waistband holster. You know, I've done a couple of videos on inside the waistband holsters are usually dual clip uh, holsters. Um, they've been crossbreed or king tuck. And um, so in trying to determine one for the LCR, I was thinking about something similar. I did look at a, a leather inside the waistband holster, but the way that it fit the LCR I wasn't comfortable with. Um, although it's a nice holster might have worked better for a uh, for a different uh snub nose type revolver um the uh galco one of course is very short and in some cases you know provided you're in compliance with all your local state and federal rules for concealment um you might be able to wear it outside the waistband but of course it has to remain concealed uh, because it is so short in some cases it might be possible depending on how you're dressed to that you have a proper covering for all that, including if you reach up or whatever. Um, so this is for the Ruger LCR, fits in this good. Uh, the person that suggested this for Mora. I've seen these before. As you can see, it's made of a very kind of tough material. Um, it's a very, uh, a very like sticky, not really sticky, sticky, but like friction. It's got a lot of friction in it. And as you know, we've already safety checked the gun, but just to show again that it's empty. Um, you can take and you put this in here. It slides in here very snug. And then uh, what you can do, and in the case of inside the waistband then, is you get this uh, inside your waistband and it's just held in place by the friction. Um, you can kind of position it where you want it to be. You can adjust the cant. And uh, it, it can be, it, it stays in position very well. Uh, there are other videos I know on YouTube and on the internet that show, you know, people jumping up and down with this style of holster in there and things. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but uh, I, from what I've seen, you provided it's, you know, it's snug enough and that it's tight enough inside your waistband. You want to make sure that it's, that it's snug enough there and tightened up enough. Uh, that it will stay in position very well. Um, of course, they make them for specific sizes and weapons, and you'd need to talk to your, you know, your gun shop or you know, some other professional or somebody you feel like is an expert in getting the right one, or maybe talk to Remora or some other manufacturer. But this Remora one has uh, seems to work very nice. Um, it's very comfortable. It's a very heavy material, so it's very difficult to reach if you're concerned about things like triggers the trigger is 
It's covered up very nicely in here. It's a fairly strong material. Um, there's, you know, there's some you can get that are lighter weight, like an Uncle Mike's or something. I personally actually did have one of those that was a clip on. I wasn't particularly um, comfortable with that. And that's one thing that's really important. You do your own research for what works best for you, uh, what's comfortable for you, what's uh, safe for you. And I, once again, complying with all your local, state, and federal laws and uh, for whatever you need getting CCWs or anything else, you know, concealed weapon permits and things if you need that to carry concealed. But, however, I just wanted to kind of bring your attention to this. Um, I'm not going to um, uh, model it. It's uh, not something I usually do. Um, but I just wanted you to be aware of that and show you that there are other holster options out there. I suppose because it says it's a pocket type one, you could check with Remora. But I guess I suppose in certain circumstances you might want to carry it in a pocket. Although I, I don't. I think you know. Usually guns are a little smaller than this for pocket guns. So anyway, hope that was helpful for you today. Once again, these are two good options for Ruger LCR. One's a Galco, one's a Remora, and you just have to find the one that works best for you. Oh, price. The price of this for me was about 25 bucks. I think you can probably get them for less. It depends on which gun it's for. I think they maybe even are as cheap as $15 sometimes. So just something to think about. And uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Once again, be safe out there. And, uh, and have a great day. Bye now. So we've been talking about the Remora, you know, no clip inside the waistband holster. Just a couple of other things about that. That uh, you know, one of the really good things. It has a lot of flexibility. You can, you can wear it in a lot of different uh, positions inside the waistband. Um, you have you can adjust the cant to some degree, and uh, so you just that's a really great thing about it. Um, one of the things um, though that you have to remember always is that the only thing that's holding it in because it is a no clip inside the waistband is the tension between your body and the waistband so that you know if there's something you need to do like maybe you need to change a tire I know I've had to change a tire sometimes or uh, maybe I'm going to um, you know be a situation where you know we all of us have to use a restroom sometimes is that you need to remove the weapon in the holster you know and, and safely secure it in some fashion and then of course uh, Whenever you're done with you know with your with your clothes or whatever you're doing, you know, restroom break or something like that, is that you have to make sure that the weapon goes with you still. And so just something to think about because there is no clip and it is an inside the waistband kind of holster like that. Um, other information on this, you know, remoreholsters.com, remoreholsterstore.com has videos on there's other videos on the internet. And remember Whenever you're selecting a holster, for me, this was a good solution. Um, you really have to make sure it's the right one for you, whether it's inside the waistband, outside the waistband, shoulder holster, and ankle holster. It needs to be the right firearm uh, uh, for the holster, and it needs to be or the right holster for the firearm, I should say, and it needs to be the right one for you and for whatever you're going to be doing. And you also need to make sure that you're in compliance with all your local, state, and federal uh, regulations regarding any kind of carry or concealed carry, concealed carry weapons permits and so forth like that. If you have any experts you need to talk to about it, you need to talk to them. Remember, I'm a hobbyist and enthusiast. These are just my opinions and thoughts on how things have worked out for me. So once again, just want you to uh, be safe out there. And uh, um, if you like this video and if you find it useful, uh, please like and subscribe. So once again, this is Re Desert Boy, or should I say uh, Re Desert Boy. I know sometimes I can go on a little bit. Um, and I just uh, uh, thank you and uh, have a good day. I hope you found it useful. Bye now.